Yeah, hi, this is John Blackburn, and I'm going to be doing a review today of the uh, Wing Wing Z84 EPO Flying Wing. Uh, I believe the kit is made by New Zeta, uh, and I purchased mine from Hobby King. Uh, I think I've got one from the West Coast uh, uh, warehouse and one from the East Coast warehouse. Um, I love the plane. It's one of the. This is my first uh, review, and I decided to start with the planes that I love first. Uh, it's been a great plane for me. Uh, a little bit about the setup. Uh, I use a Orange X T6 transmitter, six-channel transmitter. Um, I use a R620 receiver. Uh, on many of my systems, I use the R100. Uh, uh, auxiliary receiver but it's not needed on uh, the wing wing because it's so small that you keep it close to you and really don't need the range. Uh, the ESC I use a 30 amp uh, HK uh, blue ESC. Uh, this is an old ESC that I kicked around for quite a while. I used to have it on quadcopters. I uh, reburned it with Simon K uh, software. It still it works great. Uh, for the wing wing. Uh, I think any uh, 30 amp ESC would be fine. Uh, the motor I use is a, a Turnigy D2826-6 uh, 22,000 kV uh, motor. Really good motor. Uh, it sings and uh, it's part of what makes the plane fly as well as it does uh, is that it makes it fast or slow. Um, I use uh, two Turnigy 9 gram servos for the uh, flaperons uh, or elevons um, and uh, again they, they have been fine. I use those Turnigy 9 gram servos on uh, many of my different planes. Um, I use a 6x4 TGS prop um, and the plane turns it just, uh, just fine and there's clearance between uh, the prop and the vertical stabilizers. Um, the uh, you normally use a uh, compact uh, 1500 uh, zippy battery. Uh, with that battery, I normally get about 15 minute flight times flying pretty hard. Uh, if I was really cooking, it would I'm sure it would be less. If you took it down and just uh, sipped the electrons, you would be able to fly a long time. I I, I bet you could fly. Uh, 40 minutes with the plane at uh, mild throttles. Um, so again, depends on how you fly. Uh, one thing that I have that's a little unusual on the plane is I do have a uh, gyro system. It's a RX3S Orange X flight stabilizer. It's a version 2 uh, stabilizer. Um, when I did the installation, that's why I ended up installing the receiver on the top of the plane. Uh, I uh, uh, mounted the stabilizer first inside and it just got a little crowded in the uh, compartment. Um, I have the throws turned down on the uh, stabilizer quite a bit uh, and so if I had to do it over again I probably would not use uh, the stabilizer. Uh, I was trying to uh, help me fly and some in the wind but uh, when you have the thing cooking it flies into the wind very well with the stabilizer turned off. Um, and uh, I had seen issues with, uh, with the, when the pitch was set a little too sensitive that uh, at high speeds uh, the plane would uh, go into harmonic and uh, start uh, pitching up and down. So uh, again, I have it turned down to almost nothing and I normally run it with off. Um, a little bit about my background as a pilot. Uh, I am not an experienced pilot. Uh, I've been flying pretty heavy for a couple years and I flew back in the 1970s when I was in high school uh, with uh, gas and uh, old radios and uh, it was a whole different game uh, out of the hobby for a long time. I've recently got back in and uh, so I, uh, I don't consider myself a, uh, a, a good pilot, but I've, I've got to where I don't crash a lot anymore, so that's a good thing. Um, some of the uh, planes that I've flown, I, I started out with a 
uh, a Bixler and a, a Hawk Sky actually before that were the uh, trainers that I used to kind of get rolling. Uh, I still fly the Bixler a lot and love it. Um, I have an FPV Raptor, which is like a big Bixler. Uh, it's a 1600 millimeter uh, Bixler. Uh, I have a Tough Trainer, uh, which is uh, again a good uh, Cessna looking plane. Um, I also fly I also fly a, a EPP Hummer, which is a little 3D plane. I like it a lot. Uh, I have a little uh, EPP uh, ME109, uh, and again I have several planes, uh, and uh, but. Again, I'm not I'm not a great pilot, but I've I've flown a little bit. Uh, I don't have a lot of wings. Uh, I have the wing wing, and I have the big brother, the Phantom. Uh, and the the Phantom is a I think a uh, eight you know it's fifteen sixteen hundred uh, millimeter span uh, plane. And even though it looks very similar to the wing wing, it flies completely different. Uh, the Phantom is a great plane, and I like that, and I'll be doing a review on it, but uh, it flies v very slowly, and it's a more docile uh, plane where the wing wing is, uh, it's wild. It just, uh, uh, you can't fly it, it's hard to fly and not go crazy, because it just is so nimble and fun. It's kind of like riding a crotch rocket motorcycle. It's just hard to ride like a sane man. You gotta, you gotta uh, go for it, so... Uh, again, the uh, the wing wing is the only wing, and the, the phantom. It's the wing wing is the only uh, small wing I have, and again, I like it. Uh, some of my recommendations: um, make sure that you you run uh, pretty modest throws on the elevons. Uh, if uh, unless you're you know slope soaring, then you would need to have uh, bigger throws. But uh, at uh, at high speeds, the uh, small movements in the elevons make a big difference, uh, and you know the uh, wide uh, envelope of the wing wing makes it to where at high speeds you have way a lot of control, and at low speeds you have uh, a little on the you know not quite enough control. So uh, kind of pick your poison somewhere in the middle, but uh, don't don't set up real strong throws on the first flight and then uh, if you if you get going fast uh, you'll have too much control um, again it's it's a fast little plane uh, and you know I've, I've seen where running a 4s uh, battery with my system can be you know able to hit maybe a hundred miles an hour um, I, I run a 3s battery uh, it can go it can go faster than I can go uh, my reflexes have gotten faster since I've uh, been flying it. I've flown it a lot, and uh, I've gotten better. But uh, I normally fly at about half throttle, and it's to me it's pretty wicked fast at half throttle. Uh, and uh, so uh, it's again uh, the, the probably the fastest plane that I have, um, but it controls so well that uh, it's comfortable being that fast. Uh, the other thing that's nice about it is that it also flies well slow, that uh, you can uh, throw and uh, it, 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 it's not, uh, doesn't have bad stall tendencies. You can uh, slow it down and uh, fly slow or you can uh, uh, give it the gas and uh, go quick. Um, again, the stabilizer that I have on it uh, I don't think is needed. Uh, I, I put it on there and I'm not going to take it off just because it's flying well, but, um, you know, I, I, again, it's a, it's a very stable plane and when you get it going fast, uh, it'll continue to go the direction that you point it. Um, one of the things that I did, which has worked well for me, and I do this on a lot of the planes that I do hand takeoffs, is, uh, I, I mix, uh, up elevator, on the flap channel. Now, obviously, I don't run flaps on this, but um, uh, what I'll do is when I go to take off, I'll uh, turn the, the six channel uh, onto flaps, and I have a mix that uh, uh, gives it a little bit of up elevator. And, and what that does is uh, allows it to uh, have, have a little up elevator on the, uh, the launch to help it keep from diving. If you notice in the videos, I have two um, 
videos of the launch and both times uh, it sort of dives down uh, at the start and uh, mixing in a little bit of up elevator with the flap channel uh, completely eliminates that. It, it, uh, it takes off and goes up and then uh, when I get both hands on the transmitter I can uh, flip my, the flap channel uh, to normal and uh, it, it takes the up elevator out. So that has worked well for me. Uh, things that I really like are, again, how, how nimble it is. It's wide, flat envelope. Uh, it was very inexpensive. The, the, and, and again, I am cheap. Uh, I, I fly uh, inexpensive gear that works well. Uh, the, the Orange X uh, transmitter, receiver, Turnigy, uh, servos, all, all that stuff is uh, about as inexpensive as you can get. But it's I, I have not had any control issues with it. I've used it on... Uh, a lot of planes and uh, and the the wing wing is an inexpensive model it's about 25 bucks uh, and and that's one of the reasons I'm having trouble finding you know buying is that uh, you know the the wing wing has a nice uh, uh, canopy area to put your gear in uh, where a lot of the uh, flat wings uh, it's there, there's not as much space so uh, again, it packages pretty nicely. Um, I had not crashed the plane uh, very, very hard at all until yesterday. Uh, and uh, yesterday I was flying it, uh, and I did a nose in from about uh, 40 feet up. Um, and, I mean, I, I slammed it straight in to uh, uh, pavement. Now, I wasn't going at full throttle, but I wasn't uh, doing nothing either. Uh, I thought, when I saw it go down, it's going to be bad. Uh, walked over, picked it up, and I couldn't see any damage. I did notice that the uh, the foam around the front was a little crinkled in. Um, but again, it's a, it's a tough plane, and uh, again, very impressed with that. Um, the, the only cons of the plane are that uh, it's a little difficult to see sometimes. And again, I'm an older guy now. I'm in mid-50s, so uh, being able to sl see the plane well is a challenge. Um, and uh, again, even the big wing, the Phantom that I have, it can be hard to see uh, sometimes if it's pointed the wrong direction where you just see in the profile of the edge of the wing uh, or the back. Uh, so, but... The nice thing about the wing wing is it's moving so fast you can generally uh, you know turn it one way or the other and get an orientation on it uh, uh, pretty well so uh, that is my uh, review of the wing wing I've had uh, a, a great experience with it uh, I, I have not wrecked it much but if I do I have a, a spare plane to uh, put into service because I've I just enjoyed it that much. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the images and, uh, and videos. I uh, want to thank my uh, sons and their girlfriends for helping me with the uh, videos and stills. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Bye.